this is the Corrado update, which I promised I would be bringing next time. So, some of what I've been doing to the car, it had a bad oil leak, and so I did an oil pan gasket to that. I found out it did have a rubber one in before, and the shop gave me a paper one, which did not work out too well. Uh, I found out because of the grooves on the oil pan that you should put some kind of gasket maker or something to seal it up because <laughs> it leaked oil way worse than it was even before. So I pulled it back down uh, and then this time I made sure I got a rubber gasket like it originally had and yeah, I cleaned up the oil pan, the oil leak and it is much better. So that's awesome. Don't like leaking oil everywhere. Um, so that's good. About a month ago I was going to Hunt Valley Cars and Coffee and about halfway down, uh, the car started making the noise again, so had to stop. It was not a good day because I thought it was fixed and found out it wasn't, but hey, it's how things are. Uh, and then I was, we left the car and I rode my friend's car down to the show. Still got to see some awesome cars and it was awesome. I definitely want to go back. Hunt Valley Cars and Coffee, a little bit of a drive for me, but it was definitely worth it. It is awesome and I would definitely recommend it to you guys. I want to go back. And I was driving the car home then and this pin here on the steering column decided to fall out. I didn't realize what it was at the time, so I drove home. I should have just stopped and checked out what it was because a little bit sketchy driving when you can't keep the steering column still. It wasn't too bad going down the highway, but then you go to make a sharp turn and the thing's going up and down. And yeah, it was a little bit crazy. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, I don't know if there's supposed to be some kind of lock on that or how it's supposed to stay, stay in place. But that was a pain, but thankfully got that figured out. I also got some spoon-fed tuning parts for the car, which I showed you guys the rain tray already. I also got these little tiny covers for the screws at the corners of the cluster, which always somehow managed to fall out. They definitely don't quite fit OEM, but hey, it's still way better than not having anything there. It cleans it up, and they're only a couple bucks. I would definitely recommend them. They're cool. I also got a 70 millimeter lip. This is a... 90 here on the car and it's just it's it's pretty low but I haven't even put it on yet because I love the way this lip looks but it is kind of a pain because you feel like you gotta drive the car really easy just because I don't want to mess up the lip but hey it is what it is hey it's better look cool <laughs> but yeah definitely like that some yeah definitely check out spoon fed tuning they have a bunch of other great parts which we'll see maybe we'll add some more carbon fiber parts to the car I'm excited to go do some cruising this afternoon. We'll see how the clutch is doing or whatever's making the noise. Um, yeah, hopefully going to get that fixed soon. I just want to keep doing some more driving. I want to figure out exactly what it is before I go ripping things apart and to replace it and put it back together and it still makes a noise. But yeah, we'll see. I also, the car needs a steering rack because it clunks a little bit, which isn't bad, but it, it's starting to leak pretty good. Uh, it's not really leaking on the floor, but it's just all wet under there. so gotta do that um if any of you guys ever replace one of those let me know i was looking online there's a bunch of different options or is it better just to you know, use what i have no idea um also just like every other crotter you gotta do the door handle repair kit so i saw there's also a few options with that and so if anyone has any um tips from doing theirs because i'm sure a lot of you guys have done that already and or like which product you used let me know all right thanks for watching this real quick update i'm excited to go out and drive the car now We'll see you guys later. See ya.